beautiful wife Steph and give you guys a little walk around the boat. We're running a couple different GPS's in the boat. This one right here, I've just got it set on navigation and this one here, I'm trying to check our depths and keep up with what I'm seeing on the bottom. This boat's equipped with two marine radios, some fans, and lots of storage and V-berth down in here with storage underneath them. Radio. Drawers and stuff that, you know, good for storing all the things that you might need out here trawling or to work on the boat. I'll give you a little look at what we got going on with the rigging got plenty of blocks and pulleys and stuff that we're still working on to try to get this boat up to par to what we want we're pulling right off the back with a bridle got an electric winch here and we're just chopping on along great little area right now with it being 50 degrees at least we got a place to get in here in the warmth now right stuff yeah, right. and we're looking for a lot of good trips out this year you know whether it's fishing shrimp trawling or whatever on this vessel we're trying to get it right right, right. stuff right, yeah. so guys we just uh stopped the shrimp trawl net to take a look at the tail back and it's looking pretty good i'm excited to show you guys this Got a big bag. And what's this knot right here, guys? All I got to do on this knot is pull each one of my pulls. See how those loops are coming undid? Great knot to use uh, on your shrimp trawl net. If you guys know how to tie it, I'll show you how to in a second. But yeah, thank you, to you guys for recommending that let's, we start checking out that cod again. knot. Let's see the size. They're looking pretty good. They're actually looking like a decent catch, Steph. We're so thankful yeah, for this it. Yeah, right exciting, now. exciting. Woo! What a big catch. Right here in South Carolina, big catch on the shrimp trawl, man. Ooh, yeah, buddy. This is why we wanted this yeah, bigger buddy. vessel. Yeah, buddy. Guys, this is why we wanted this bigger vessel to be able to, you know, come out here and help supply food. Food to people out here that's willing to pay us to come out here and catch them at a reasonable price. We're trying to work it out where, you know, we can make a few dollars and run this boat. Little blue crab. And to pull that big tail bag in, guys. All I did was cinch the rope up right here around the tail bag and just run it from our block over here to our little winch and it was able to pull this thing in with ease. Yeah, grateful for that. Look at these. I know you don't want them sand dollars there, fella. Man, there's going to be some super people super excited to hear that we have shrimp. They've been asking us or we gonna have any shrimp before Thanksgiving and you know we wanted to get out here and try to get them for you guys and here we are made a big pool guys and here's that knot that I was telling you about so I'm just basically you take your two ropes guys go inside pull a loop see that loop cross over with your other one Let's see if I come on this side Cross the other one, pull that loop tight. We're gonna do the same thing again. Go back in, pull on your other side, and it's back and forth, back and forth, and it just creates a super tight knot that is really, really easy to get untied, you know, whenever it's time to pull that trawl net in. It won't cinch down on itself and make it hard for you to untie that rope or that bag. And I know a lot of you shrimp trawlers out there know this knot. We're just learning it, you know, from other YouTubers out here that are showing videos. And we appreciate those guys. And, uh, hey, we asked those guys, if you're watching, hey, we'll support you. 
give us that like give us that subscribe tell us about your videos the things you like your content what you like to show so we can be a, a supporter of you also And this is the way that we are having to do this guys we're unhooking from our pull ropes we're coming around to our tail bag and we're dumping our tail bag and we'll just go right back around to our leading ropes and start back trawling make do with what you got until you can do better there is other things that we're going to be doing to this boat to get it rigged up a little bit different so that we won't have as uh, hard a time actually pulling in the whole trawl net at the end of the day. Oliver's getting it worked out. So there you go, guys. What you think? Yeah, buddy. We got some shrimp to sort through. And we're thankful for it, right, Steph? Yeah, we are. That's exciting. Ooh, I'm going to put you to work now, girl. Yeah, I've been waiting on it. I'm ready. And look back here. They're waiting on this bycatch. Dolphins and seagulls and the wildlife, they just love these shrimp trawl boats. I guarantee you that. And you've noticed that we don't have any big things in our net. Uh, some of the biggest stuff you may see like this stingray he's kind of tucked down under there we got to be careful with that guy we'll get him out with a pair of pliers or something he definitely don't want to get barbed so we got to get hooked back up to this trawl net guys i think that pull right there was uh good enough that we're going to try to pull it one more time hopefully we can get it back going and you know make one more pull with you guys that's why i'm dollars Let's do it guys. Let's get hooked back up. Enjoyed you guys coming along on this video with us. 
you like videos like this, you like content like this, make sure you give us that like and subscribe. We'll see you guys. You got to head back. A little big stingray right there. Down. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you guys for coming along. To subscribers, viewers, our Patreons. Thank y'all for all you do. We appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.